Hi, I'm Yushi. I'm Mariko. I'm Dylan. Thanks for tuning in. And now we're about to watch the final excerpt of Master Okawa's lecture entitled How to Increase Your Immunity, Part 4. The power of meditation can be effective too. There is a meditation where you see yourself enveloped with golden butter. It's the golden butter meditation. You imagine a block of butter on top of your head. This butter is golden and it gradually melts and seeps into you, on your skin and into your organs and everywhere, even into your bone marrow. Ancient Buddhists also did this meditation. You can fight against viruses with this meditation. A golden butter is granted by Buddha and you put that on top of your head. And it gradually melts and seeps into your body. If you do this meditation many times or every day, a light will fill you, helping you defeat viruses. You need some worldly precautions so that you won't be worried too much. And of course, consider the power of light. Receive the spiritual power from God and imagine it as a sort of protective suit. It will speed up the curing process. I think people are watching this lecture in various places. And it will eventually come out as a CD or DVD or a book. There are sections in it that you can use repeatedly every year. So I suggest you listen to it carefully. Even if someone doesn't accept or believe my teachings on how to increase immunity, if family and friends know and believe in it, it will have some influence on the person. If the believer in the family thinks this person's problem is this and he or she needs to change in this way, it will work as a defensive moat and the person will become stronger against the illness. It will become like out with the demons and in with good fortune. The more people who know, the better. All right, thank you, Master, for sharing with us another deep wisdom in just two minutes. Mm. So <laughs> there's so much I want to talk about on that clip, but I'm going to narrow it down to two points. Okay. What I was so impressed and like I was so I felt so um, grateful for was one is the golden butter meditation. Mm. Um, at first, I was like butter that's sticky you know that was like the feeling i had but once i gave a lecture um a healing lecture in santa monica or orange county in the west coast i forgot where it was but um one lady she's like you know you gave me that analogy of like the melting golden butter i finally like understand the power of meditation i was like what do you mean and she said it's so easy to visualize mm. that something is seeping like it's like it's soaking into my body. And I was like, oh, that's true. You know, like when you make steak, you know, you put, <laughs> you put a stick of you know, butter on top, it's like melting on and it starts looking delicious. Like, it's it's easy true. to visualize. And yeah. you know, as Master has taught us, visualization is such an important part of uh, meditation. Mm -hmm. So that's the one thing that I thought was awesome. The second point is, um, it's in Japanese, it's called eko. But like um, the ones who receive light through faith and enlightenment, they have the spiritual power to share that light with others. Mm -hmm. So you know how Master was saying like, um, even if your family members aren't believers, if you believe in this, you can help them too. Mm -hmm. And we actually literally saw that happen in this temple for one of our members. So I thought that is like, this world that God created or Alcantara created is so awesome. Yes. He's, has, he's given us so much weapon yeah. of light mm -hmm. to help people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's very hopeful too because you know you feel sometimes no matter what you say people don't accept it. Mm -hmm. 
but we can still help them. It doesn't matter. Like we are conduits of light. Therefore, we can bring down God's light and deliver it to people anyhow. So mm. it's very, very powerful. Hence the reason why we should study more mm -hmm. and always increase our you know, light and wisdom to be able to help people about the golden meditation mm -hmm. or golden butter meditation he said it was granted by buddha i was like granted by buddha if you go into meditation understanding that it was granted to you by buddha then you can be more in a gratitude mindset because then i think the power of gratitude also goes into play where you can really accept that light even more and more so you can heal inside and you know, it's very, very soothing. And yeah, we do it a lot here at New York Temple. Mm -hmm. But um, didn't you have a really cool experience recently? A couple months ago, you... Oh, that's uh, right. Oh yeah, <laughs> you just reminded me yeah. actually. See, miracles are kind of daily occurrence at Happy Science. Well so said, well said. It's, uh, but actually, yes, a few months ago, I was practicing the golden butter meditation myself. And I was having a kind of sinus infection at the time. Mm -hmm. But by practicing this, I felt my symptoms just gradually disappearing. And when I checked my hands after the meditation, they had become very warm. And there was a kind of golden dust or golden powder, which had been gathering on my hands. Like for some people like me, I wear makeup. So even if I saw, I would just think it was my eyeshadow. But for you, obviously you don't wear eyeshadow or anything like <laughs> right, that. Right. So, you know. It's, and it's happened to you not just this once, but a previous time as well, and yes. to a lot of our members. Like, this mm -hmm. is just, you know, I say, a mm. God smile, mm. like a, a <laughs> wink almost. Mm. Like, you know, you're, you experience a miracle. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So and easy. like, for me, growing up in like an Amer the American society in the mm. Midwest, mm. I was never really familiar with the idea of receiving light in the terms of religious meaning, but uh, it's something that I just started grasping intuitively. Like, you know, when you go outside and you feel the sun's warm light, mm -hmm. we can actually get the same experience through religion, through spiritual light shining nice. into us. And I just uh, intuitively understood this concept after I started studying it at Happy Science. And I've been seeing the effects and it's so amazing. Mm. And coming to our temple here at New York Temple, we have a special prayer room and you can receive so much of this heavenly light mm -hmm. into your body mm -hmm. and you'll feel yourself feel so warm and rejuvenated. Mm -hmm. And it's just the <clears throat> most wonderful feeling. Yeah. And I want to go back to what she said. The meditation was granted by Buddha. Mm. That gives happy science its uniqueness, I think. Mm. Um, it's a perfect combination of self-help and like people who want to really optimize their life or like to, to, to be of service to the world. So, you know, a lot of people have high academic backgrounds and um, great people gather at happy science, right? Mm -hmm. But also at the same time, granted by Buddha, great gratefulness. It's like, it's a combination of faith and that self-help. Mm. It's, it's a combination of faith and spirituality. Yeah. So that, I think that's such an important point because, you know, a lot of people are on YouTube now, on Facebook now, and everyone's becoming a pub, their own publishers and like they're all stating their opinions. So it's like a democracy of information. There's so many information flooded in the world right now. And I've been seeing like people saying like the importance of meditation, but the ones that I feel awesome is like they end up being grateful to something. But some of them that I feel, mm, it's like, it's all what you think. Mm. Right. You, you are the author of your life. But it's, yes, 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 to a certain point. But from a certain part, I'm like, mm, but where is that humbleness? Where, yeah. where, where is the mm. gratefulness to God? It's it, like that part, I think, is so important yeah. when it comes to this uh, yeah. golden butter meditation. Yeah, literally, I feel when, you're, when you have that gratitude mindset, you remove clouds or ah. that, you know, blockages. Because you are granted life, for example, right? You can start with that. But there's so much more, like counting what you have already, mm. you know, instead of what you don't have, mm. is such a easy uh, trick to feeling happy. Again, mm. You know, and mm -hmm. it's because by having gratitude, you clear away the clouds, 
and then light comes in. Yes. That's why. It's not just making you feel better. Again, like mm -hmm. gratitude, of course, everyone agrees gratitude is great. Mm -hmm. But why spiritually? is because light starts to shine mm -hmm. in, into you. That's spiritual science. Yeah. Happy science. Mm -hmm. Spiritual science, yeah. So, Dylan, since you've had experience, mm. um, how can we practice the golden butter meditation at home? Okay, yeah, so if you're going to do it at home, uh, you just uh, get in a relaxed posture and sit up straight. So what you do is imagine that there's a golden chunk of butter sitting on top of your head, and this butter, uh, God's light, is shining down upon it and slowly melting it and it drips down and melts slowly into your body mm -hmm. and it soon becomes uh, covering your whole body mm -hmm. and seeping into all your organs making them radiate a golden light mm -hmm. so by practicing this you'll experience some effect and there's also like the latter part of this golden butter meditation there's like self-reflection part right like mm -hmm. you give gratitude if there's someone you hate or you dislike please forgive them now and like you know it's them now love them yeah. yeah so it goes back to like reflection and loving mm. Mm. and um, also master okawa has given us a phenomenal phenomenal weapon which is this the true words spoken by buddha this is our sutra that master has written in english himself and it's for our student members but th these words are so beautiful and reciting this will help you one connect to el Kantare the eternal Buddha, God. It helps you connect. So the pipe is connected. And then by reciting this and by following these words, like as like guidance for how you live, what happens is like that pipe gets cleansed, mm. right? Mm. Like you're saying like purity mm. or like it purifies you by having gratitude. Mm. It's kind of like that by, by allowing these words guide you in the right direction or in what we call in happy science, exploring the right mind, the pipe becomes clear. And then in the end, when you practice med that golden butter meditation, that light flows smoothly mm. and more deeply mm. and more thick and rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, whenever I have a good golden butter meditation, it's like I'm bathed in this warm liquid, but it's not like sticky or anything, but it's like right. deep and condensed, yeah. you know? Yeah. Fluffy. <laughs> That's a, a little different from my experience. <laughs> Maybe we all have different experiences. Uh, you know, fluffy. You feel yeah. light. Yeah. Yeah, totally. You feel light afterwards. But yeah, um, this is a great weapon that Master has given us. Uh, we can always, um, we can always ship this to you. So uh, please contact the temple and use this weapon of light for protection. And yeah, so uh, this concludes um, the fourth part of Master's phenomenal lecture excerpts on. Uh, how to increase your immunity. Thank you for tuning in.